Hello, and welcome to HubSpot Tutorials by Webdo. I am Mike, your guide and friend, and our today's tutorial is about how to create workflows in HubSpot. You can create a workflow to automate your business processes and make your team more efficient. Set enrollment criteria to automatically enroll records and take action on your contacts, companies, deals, quotes, and tickets. You can also take action on associated records, such as updating an enrolled contacts associated company. In this tutorial, we will show you how you can create a workflow. In your HubSpot account, navigate to Automation and click Workflows. You can create a new workflow from scratch or from a template. To create a new workflow from scratch, click Create Workflow from Scratch in the upper right. In the left panel, select Object Face to select your workflow object. This determines what type of records can be enrolled in the workflow. Depending upon your account's subscription level in HubSpot, you can select from the following objects when creating a workflow from scratch. Contacts, companies, deals, tickets, conversations, feedback submissions, subscriptions, and payments. In the right panel, under Choose Type, select your workflow type. You can select from the following options blank workflow, scheduled workflow, and workflow based on the specific date or contact date property. We will continue with the blank workflow here. Click the Edit Pencil icon to give your workflow a name, then click Next. You'll then be taken to the Workflow Editor. Now here, start selecting your workflow enrollment triggers. Enrollment triggers are a set of criteria that automatically enroll records in the workflow. In the Workflow Editor, click Set Up Triggers. In the right panel, select a filter type for your enrollment trigger. Set up the trigger, then click Apply Filter. To enable re-enrollment, in the right panel, click the Re-enrollment tab. Click to toggle the re-enrollment switch on. Select the triggers that you want to use for re-enrollment. Add more enrollment triggers if needed. When you're done, click Save. Once done, click the plus icon. In the right panel, select an action. Now start selecting the actions you want to add to the workflow. Set up the details of the action, then click Save. Click the plus icon to add more workflow actions. When building larger workflows, you can use the Workflow Minimap for a quicker view of your workflow architecture and faster navigation. Once done, then click the Settings tab to manage the workflow settings. On the General tab, Select days and times that you want actions to execute, enroll contacts from Salesforce, and associate campaigns with the workflow. On the Unenrollment and Suppression tab, set Unenrollment and Suppression criteria to remove or exclude records from the workflow automatically. On the Notifications tab, set up email notifications to alert users and teams when a workflow's enrollment rate increases or decreases beyond a certain percentage. After setting up your workflow, turn it on to begin automating. Once done, click Review and Publish. That's how you can create workflows in HubSpot. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section, and we will be happy to answer. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and press the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. To know about our HubSpot services, visit us on www.webdo.com.